Weight loss success, what is the key? Now in a world where convenience prevails and physical activity takes a back seat, it's time to awaken the truth. Fitness isn't as simple as the 50-50 equation of working out and nutrition. Rather, there are two distinct entities that demand separate attention for harmonious life. Today, as we face the challenges of unbalanced, skip the dishes world, it's crucial to discover the joy of working out, unlocking its mental and physical benefits that can keep us grounded in this ever-changing landscape. So guys, before I go on, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, and let me know what are some of your keys to weight loss success. Now, we have to understand that it isn't 50-50 working out to nutrition. There are both two separate things that need to be treated differently. Today, our fitness isn't really tested in the day-to-day -day battle of life. We just aren't active anymore. Everything we need is one click or prime delivered away. Whereas working out is hard. We have to find fitness and we have to enjoy it because there's so many mental and physical benefits. I would say that working out helps to keep your balance in an unbalanced skip the dishes world. When it comes to working out, what you need to do is you need to find a workout style that you can learn to love. Me personally, I love lifting heavy weights like a bodybuilder, but I like exploding and doing athletic movements. Now at Fit Club, we try to cater to all of what our clients appreciate, enjoy, but also need. So some days when you come into Fit Club, you might be doing the booty bands, you might be doing some 80s aerobic, you might be doing steps, but other days you might be doing chest press, heavy deadlifts, squats, or you might be doing sleds, box jumps, and burpees. And so it's a great mix for our kind of mixed breed of the Fit Fam. Number two is that you need to find a coach. And if you're lucky, you're going to find a few coaches that you love. Now I handpick my team. They're all members that have grown and shown the most potential and talent that have become coaches because I know that they are living inspirational lives and I know that they're going to reach back and they're going to be able to help the Fit Fam. So for you that aren't in the Winnipeg area or aren't in our Fit Club area, then what I would tell you is that find a coach that you can really connect with and if you're lucky, you might be able to find a couple coaches because you might not always be able to work out at the same time. Number three is that you need to find people to do it with, but also do other things you love with them outside of the gym. So true friends are those that you're able to do the things that you absolutely enjoy and also hate at the same time, and you guys will be able to do it together because you're gonna provide the motivation, you're gonna provide the inspiration, but then on top of that, you're gonna be able to just kind of declutter, you're gonna be able to de-stress together and focus on the journey and walk it side by side. So if you can find the people that you wanna do it with and you really feel connected to that tribe, never let go. When it comes to nutrition, you gotta look at balance. So look at your plate and you gotta ask yourself, is it balanced between carbohydrates like potatoes, rice, fats, so that would be like your, your the oils that you've cooked it with or the types of meats that you use and the proteins such as like chicken, tuna or beef. And so you wanna make sure that the plate looks balanced between all of that and most importantly, how much of that plate is covered with greens. And so the thing that I would tell you is look at the plate and make sure it's very colorful and you've got a little bit of everything on top of that. The next thing I would tell you is that you should never stuff and you should never starve. Now that's not a great equation for most of us because we always wanna feel one or the other. When we're starving, a lot of us, that's the trigger that we actually need to eat. And then when we starve, what ends up happening is that we overeat and then we start to feel stuffed. And when we feel stuffed, that means that we've overeaten. When we feel starved, there's a good chance that we've been under eating, which is gonna trigger you to overeat. Between the two of being starved or stuffed, in today's society where you and I live, then I would tell you that you'd rather feel more starved than stuffed, especially if you are gaining weight, going up in pant sizes, or you can just see those love handles keep getting bigger and bigger. Number three when it comes to nutrition is that you don't wanna let food be the director of your life. Food is not your Google Maps. Food doesn't dictate where you should go and what you should do. There's other things that you can enjoy outside of food and wine. Think about it, you gotta go outside the box and a lot of people might not enjoy it, but if you go back to point number three in workouts where I said you need to find the people that you wanna do it with, if you find that tribe, 
you guys are going to get creative and you're going to find things that you can do that doesn't evolve around the dinner plate. For instance, I've heard of members going together to people's cabins. Now, when people go to the cabins, typically they sit around, you know, they drink beer, they eat cheese and chips and talk and just sit and nap and do nothing, just eat a bunch of calories and don't burn a bunch of calories. But I heard about people going out to the cabins and they're going on very long hikes, they're doing swimming, kayaking, like they're actually doing physical activity instead of always just sitting around the dinner plate. And to me, that's a great change because you don't often see that. And so when it comes to your nutrition, when it comes to doing things in your life, you don't always have to base it around food. You could base it around activity, which would be completely game changing. And if you continue to do this for the long term, imagine how you're gonna look and feel 10 years from now. So to embark on this transformational journey, remember that workout should be an exploration of self discovery, finding a style you genuinely love, seeking inspirational coaches, and sharing the experience with like-minded individuals. And as we approach nutrition, let balance be your guiding principle. You need to restrict and reject the extremes of stuffing versus starving, and instead of embracing a mindful approach to nourishing our bodies, together, let's control ourselves from food, discovering fulfillment in different passions beyond eating, and carving a path to a truly fulfilling and vibrant fit life. So guys, before you go on, give this video a like. Let me know some of the activities that maybe you do that don't involve eating when you go out with your friends.